Casey. How oh, interesting, don't you think? Oh, look, that's Mexican, I'm sure. Oh, gosh. I wish we brought your mother. Really? April Fool. Oh, you. So, who do we have to blame for this load of old cobblers, then? Him? If he had a pitchfork, he could be an extra in a Frankenstein movie. <laughs> Look, I'm starving. What's in the basket? Oh, smoked chicken baguettes that were hot an hour ago. Um, Californian strawberries, um, water. Uh... <laughs> People will see. People will see. They met themselves, Dante Gabriel Rossetti. The two on the left look just like the two on the right. That's really strange. Why is she fainting? Because she's going to die soon. <laughs> In the folklore of many countries, seeing one's double was a sign of imminent death, possibly within one phase of the moon. God, that's really spooky. Actually meeting yourself it was horrid. Depends who you are, I suppose. Lisa. Lisa. I'm sorry. For goodness sake. You and your stupid superstitions. You know, you really must grow up. Uh, you're, you're fiddling with it again. You're fiddling. I just got a fright, that's all. It's only a mirror, isn't it? Yes. Yes. And what does signify, Annabelle? His card? Yes, I'm dying to know. A little patience, please, Rebecca. This is Andrea's reading. Poor Andrea. They were inseparable, you know. Twin souls. Shh! Ah! The lovers. I think this could be important. I see a conjunction, Andrea. A crossing of paths. Oh, Madre. Can be true. At last. The cards are saying there is to be a meeting. Soon. A spirit meeting? <gasps> Andrea! Oh, dear darling Michael. I loved him so much. Don't, Peter, stop. Oh, God, Lisa. I'm sorry, I just can't. You've done it again. Look, that's unfair. It's not my fault. You know what I feel. Oh, we shouldn't have come here. I thought you liked it here. I do. I love it. It's my own special tree. My own sp... Lisa, why, oh, why do you have to be so bloody virtuous? We can wait. It's not so long, is it? Three months? Or maybe when I get back from Mexico, we can see. Another psychic expedition. Don't say that. It's just a visit to the old country. Communing with the spirits. Well, she misses father. She loved him, and so did I. She's a witch. And so are you, with that bloody charm around your neck. Stop it. 
What would you know anyway? You don't understand anything except money. Well, you'll have plenty of that soon enough, don't you worry. Oh, wait, Lisa. I'm sorry. What about... Stupid cow. Your daughter's getting married soon. Is that right, Mrs. Clessent? Ah, yes. Very soon. When well, she's 21. That's when she gets her inheritance. Then she will not need her old mother anymore. Oh, don't say that, dear. She'll always need you. Such a good girl. Could have had a career. Bright, you know. Still, maybe later. <laughs> her young man, he is stockbroker. Doing very well. He, uh, take this picture. Such a clever boy. The perfect match, then. Lisa. Lisa. I'm sorry, all right? I just... I get a bit frustrated, you know? I... I don't think you really appreciate... Look, I do. Of course I do. But there are other things between us, aren't there, Peter? Sure, absolutely. More important things than sex. Oh, really? You're a lascivious male. Mm. I'm not very knowledgeable about these things. I suppose I lived a pretty sheltered life, really. Not like other girls. Not at all. You're telling me I'm surprised you're not still chaperoned. God, that reminds me, have I got any grass or twigs on my back? I suppose that's what the seance was for, eh? Hey? Keep an eye on us. Oh, look, silly. Listen, I'm sorry I stomped off. But things like that, spiritual things, they do affect me terribly. I know they do. Like this morning, the picture. It was really frightening. Is that stupid? No. I don't want to be like that. But sometimes my thoughts and my dreams, they're more real to me than everyday things. The worst is at night. There's a baby sometimes which lies beside me. And it cries like in pain and I just can't do anything. That's not possible, is it? But I see it just lying there crying. And you know what? It looks just like me. But I, oh, who is it? What am I supposed to do? Yes, sir. No, sir, no, you're, you're, you're absolutely right. Wilco. Absolutely. It's the uh, NM launch. Babyface, he's just um, expressing his appreciation. Crawler. 125 already. That is 25%. Uh, yes, 25% in two trading days. Amal, that's two trading days. Admit it, you're jealous. Oh, 127. Well, now, now the commission on that would be. Uh, we'll what take is your the... Sahara project? Negromonte Mining, if you don't mind, or NM, as it's known to its friends and admirers, who are legion, I might say, and whom I'm already advising on the rights issue, of which I've already placed 650,000. That's 650,000. Today, a junior salesman, tomorrow. Singapore jail? <laughs> don't get flash, Amal. Next year, I'll be dealing in companies, and you will still be a little Iqbal from Southall. <laughs> <laughs> you racist bastard. Oh, yeah? Yeah? yeah. Stop it, children! It's a pile of rubble. <laughs> 2.7 million tons. Peter, you do know that turning rubble into gold isn't possible? Right. The alchemists discovered that about 500 years ago. It's an ore, dummy. A low-grade ore now turning into a high-grade asset. Gold. God, why are you all so sad? I have a dream. da da Lisa Clesant. Hi. Oh, Peter, darling, how are you? I'm great. I'm just 42 this morning. 
No, not me, the NM chef. <coughs> Listen, um, you're going Thursday, so how about lunch tomorrow afternoon? Yes, of course. Well, 12.30 downstairs and uh, there's something special. Oh, really? What? Wait and see. Look, I, I'm going to have to go. It's crazy here. Oh, look, Peter, I've been thinking. That's good. Well, uh, look, maybe I've been a bit silly. Maybe I've been a bit immature, really. Look, I know you're really busy, but... Uh... I'd have liked us to have gone to our tree again before I left. So we could, well, you know. Where are you? I'm in the shower. I've just got out, actually. And I'm not wearing anything except for a towel. God, Lisa. What? That's fantastic, but... But what? You're going away. It's absolutely lovely. I just hope it wasn't too expensive. Of course not. Everything's going really well. It was 155 at noon, did I tell you? Now, look, I want to get some shots, so, um, over by the gate. Some reminders of you while you're away. <laughs> My virgin bride to be. Peter, that's not fair. You know what I said. I know. Put your hand on the gate. Like that. Well, don't ring us. We'll ring you. I'll be thinking of you in my bachelor bed, imagining you in the shower. With nothing but a towel. Um, Lisa, look, it's better if... What is it? My God. This is impossible. Look. It's just a girl who looks like you, a, a little bit like you, that's all. The exhibition, the picture, you know what it said. Lisa, stop it. You're being ridiculous. Anyway, she's gone now. Now, now calm down. Stop playing with that bloody thing, will you, and let me take a picture. What does it mean? Oh, the light's gone now. I can feel it. It's as if she's me. She's not you. She's gone. Never to return again. Excuse me, mate. I'm sorry to break in, but oh, I couldn't help noticing and wondered if you'd take a picture. I beg your pardon? Of the girls. It's incredible, isn't it? The likeness. Look, I'm sorry to butt in. Steve's doing was minding other people's business. <sighs> so, do you want to have your picture taken with me then? Would you say it'd be a bit of a laugh? Steve Moss. Peter Milton. Pleased to meet you, mate. Nice bit of kit you got there. Hello, Peter. I'm Zoe. So, what do you think? Are we as like as two peas in a pod then? Well, I'm not sure. In some way, you're quite different. There, you see. So, what's your name? Lisa. You're Peter, a photographer, is it? No, I mean, yes, uh, in his spare time. He's uh, in the city. Oh, fancy, so am I. At uh, Lincoln Creek Hall. Steve's in Hallwich. Here's Snap, Peter. We're both in the city. Oh, well, you haven't you done yet? He's a bit of a slow mover, isn't he? No, he's just taking his time in a composition, isn't he? Well, that's that then, so he looks cute. No, 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 just one more. You don't mind, do you? <laughs> Can't miss out on this chance. The lads will kill themselves. <laughs> Race between two thorns, eh? You're the thorn, Steve Moss. Thorn in my side. Right, everyone, smile for the camera. Cheese. Here, I wouldn't mind a copy of that piece if it's not too much trouble. Here's my card. Phone, fax, email, it's all there. Give me a bell when it's ready. It's been really nice meeting you, mate. Oh. Coincidence. Strange but true, eh? Oh, come on, Walt. Stop bothering these nice people. I'm sure they don't watch that sort of crap. Bye. We'll see ya. It's been nice. Interesting. 
see, Steve. I said we should have come this way. It's been left to you. Well, well, well. Give me that. What? I never want to see her ever again. You won't have to. Destroy it. Destroy it as if she never existed. Okay. She doesn't exist. Okay. Go on, then. Well, absolutely. I'm... Oh, I've got rid of her with her smiles and her ghastly accent. She's nothing like me at all. There. That's done it. And I shall never bother us ever again. Well, the Foxy made a surprise 38-point hike upwards this morning. I thought they'd be quiet because Wall Street was closed for today's public holiday, but not a bit of it. The reasons for the hike, though, seem pretty fragile. Still, the 100 index ended 39.5 higher at 38.40.4. There are several companies trading upwards, including Chelmac, with a high of 493. And in lively trading, Negromonte Mining reached a new high of 156 before close, on takeover prospects. Negromonte has developed a new gold refining process, which is the envy of its competitors. What about the past few months? Were they faced by political developments in Eastern Europe? Well, the foreign exchanges were much quieter and more concerned with yesterday's vote in Luxembourg. The pound ended unchanged against the dollar at $1.55.9 and rose a tenth of a penny to 2 marks 57.6. The dollar remains unchanged against the German mark at 1 mark 52.4. This is 0171627 Whitbourne Financial Services. Zoe Whitbourne speaking. Please leave your message after the tone. Hello, it's uh, Peter Milton again. About those pictures of you and my friend, I wanted to hand them over to you in person, so if you could phone me on 0181204 <clears throat> or at work on 0171387 Thank you. Peter, Peter Milton again. About those photos, do phone, or you can try me on my mobile, which is 0589275257. We can meet anytime. I'm, uh, I'm pretty available at the moment. Bye. Peter Milton, hello. You see the NM price? What? Your pet share? 129. 128. Uh-oh, 128, Peter. And falling. Goodness me, any particular reason? The refining process? It's been questioned in a Reuters release. You, uh, coming in? Of course. I would. Your clients are leaving all kinds of messages. And Babyface is asking questions. I'll deal with it. It's no problem, Amalovich. I'll be in shortly. Farewells. Maybe I do. Assurance. Just in case. Look, I'll write to you every day. You will too, won't you? Yes, well, I'll try, but you know how it is. Okay, well, look, you can call me. 52 is Mexico, 5 is Mexico no, City, and so on, so you shouldn't have any trouble getting. I'm so excited for you, Andrea. <laughs> yeah, something has got to happen. I feel it in my heart. I wish I could be there. Mm. Oh, Lisa, come on. We must go. Huh? Look, be faithful, Peter. We'll be together very soon, properly. Sure, and um, I will write, OK? You're all right. Sure. I don't want to leave oh. you. Bye bye, Peter. I will look after her. Soon is the wedding day. You are lucky boy. Such a good girl. Listen, Stacy, what the hell is this? It's they tell me the price is dropping like a stone. 113. 
What's wrong? The, the, the process doesn't work or what? Well, it better be fine, mate, because otherwise I'm up shit creek and I'm telling you. So you've got 200,000. A 250, that's great. Well, we can take a 104. Perfect. Yes, on the firm. And um, this is a share that's going to uh, turn around, and you can quote me on that. Yeah. OK. Just put it on the account. Right, bye. Yes. Hello. How did you...? Oh, easy, these old bangers. No, no, but how did you...? You said you worked in the city. I've got contacts. What are you, a private investigator? Me? <laughs> I'm a solo operator, an independent girl. I like the pickies. Oh. You know your stuff, Peter Milton. So, tell us about your fiancé, then. Well, she's, she's, she's not really my fiancé. Oh, not... come off it. She's engaged to someone. Someone loaded and all bloody great rock she was wearing. All right, she's my fiancé. Are you loaded, then? <laughs> oh, well... All living on credit. So when are you going to get married? Oh, not for ages. She's away. Whoops, she just left, actually. And you saw her off with her mum. Look, what is this? Her and me, we're doubles, you know, that's like twins. Two sides of the same coin and all that. So I uh, can't be disregarded. I mean, maybe there's a reason why we met. It's a pity she's gone, because I'd like to talk to her, you know, find out a bit more. Are these for me? Yes. Cheers. Does that mean you can stop coming on to me now? I wasn't. You what? Friendly messages, little hints. I wasn't born yesterday. And what about Stephen? Hmm? He not around anymore? Oh, him. He just looks after transport. Anyway, thanks a lot. I'll see ya. Zoe? Wait. Could we, um, meet or, or, or something? You're a married man, Peter, near enough. What is it they say? Never get involved with married men. But you'd like to see me? Yes. Might be dangerous. So? I see. Tomorrow night soon enough. Eight o'clock at my place. You bring the booze. It's a deal. Yeah, that's right. That's what it is. It's a deal. Bullshit. The refining process is impeccable. Listen, at 97, it's a great buy for Northern. Jesus, he'll be back at 120 by noon tomorrow. Trust me. just thought that at 89 pence and with such a fantastic upside, you could hardly refuse. Yes. Are you coming to the Maybe Maybe Fine. Maybe no, look, it's, it's no problem. We'll talk soon. <laughs> but are you sure, Stacy? Listen, everyone is going to be there. We're absolutely on the line here. It's our last chance. We can't afford to fail. Yeah, I'll, I'll see you tomorrow. Look, I've got to go to this press conference, but if Norman phones, tell him I'll be with him by 11. Everything's absolutely fine. Back on course by lunchtime, all right? What is it? 
Stacy called. Your mobile wasn't switched on. No, I... And? It's cancelled. The press conference? He said they can't validate the process. Seems it was alchemy after all, Peter. I'm so sorry. <laughs> well, uh... Well, that's that. <laughs> Rather on settlement day. Appears you were right, my old friend. Singapore jail. Don't be silly, Peter. You'll be all right. Um, there's one more thing, though. What? Babyface wants to see you. Is the bubbly cold enough for you, sir? It's true for protection. I don't like champagne when it's too warm. You? Hmm? Um, no, absolutely. That's, uh... £33.49, sir. Cash or credit card? Oh, well, it's only actually cash, old boy. Here, this one should be good a while longer. Don't worry, you're covered. <laughs> and all shall be well, and um, all manner of things shall be well. Who said that? No, I don't know either. Would you believe it? I've dropped the bloody blues! You will leave our employee forthwith. Pay back every penny that you owe us. Every penny! And if our liabilities exceed £10,000, then we will sue you. And you will never, ever work in the square mile again. <laughs> Good old baby face. See, you thought you were so cool, but you're not. You're just a big baby, aren't you, Peter? Just like every other man. You know, you're right. You, you, you're absolutely right. I had it all, you know, under control for so long. Don't worry, Zoe. I'm paying for it now. I'm in deep water. You don't want to know how deep. Maybe the shares will go up on Monday morning. <laughs> so, what's going to happen when Lisa finds out? Oh, God. She'll probably come and visit me in jail. Jail? <laughs> Who knows? Still. At least it'll give her a chance to feel virtuous. You know, she's so incredibly innocent and good. Is that why you're marrying her? <laughs> no, you're marrying her for her money, aren't you, you bastard? No, I'm not. You, know, you, you don't know her. She's very sweet. God, I'm going to call it all off. Face the music on. Sleep with her. Oh, poor Peter. What a waste of a Peter. Peter in his manly prime and all. Not fair, is it? I'm not good like Lisa. I'm wicked. I must be. Else I wouldn't be sitting here now. And you're going to marry my twin sister in a manner of speech. It's a bit kinky, you must admit. Do you want another drink? You're hungry. So is there a... Anything you want? Peter Milton.
thing is, are you prepared to pay the price? What's that? Your soul. <laughs> I thought you meant money, and that I haven't got any money. In fact, I'm not even sure I've got a soul. Dearest Peter, I hope you're all right. I still haven't received a letter or a call from you, and it's almost three weeks now. Mother still hasn't had the big psychic experience she came for, but she's having a nice holiday instead, so maybe that's better. I tried to call you several times, but no answer. Not even your machine for some reason. Strange to say, I feel somehow closer to you than before in a physical way. It started when I had a dream about you one siesta time quite early on. It was quite a shattering experience in a private way. The only problem is that woman we met in the square. She seems to threaten me in my thoughts sometimes, and that old superstition, it upsets me. In the Rossetti picture, remember? But perhaps she doesn't really exist, this Zoe. Perhaps she was only a figment of our imagination. I hope so. Enough of that. I've decided I'm not going to be a superstitious child anymore. She's in a good mood. Big day today, that right? Oh, really? You made up your mind what you're going to do. You know what I'm going to do. Oh, yeah? With your debts? I've told you. I'm finishing with her. She's, she's too good for me. I live in a dark and dirty world. The world of the wicked. Your world. 
Lisa's the good twin and, and you're the bad twin. Two sides of the same coin. Your words. Well, I made my choice. I chose you. For better or worse. Down on your knees. What? Down on your knees. <laughs> now swear. So. Do it. I swear. Who do you love? I love only you. And who am I? Black Queen. Dark Angel. <clears throat> Commander of my heart. Very poetic. You have got a soul after all. Now kiss me. I can't, you're... So? Oh, that's enough. Now be a good boy today and tidy up this shit, will you? It's like living in a pig's Zoe, where are you going? Out. Well, you're not keeping us, are you? You're, um, you're not gonna bother Lisa, are you? Bother her? It's just she's, uh, she's frightened of seeing you. Maybe it's me who should be frightened. Her being the holy virgin and all. <laughs> bother her. luck for the twins. Well, uh, no, it'll keep them safe. I don't need it anymore. <laughs> Fired. I'm so sorry, Lisa. I assumed you knew. After you went away, everything just went out of control. You haven't seen him for three weeks. He left the firm a few days later. And now they're suing him, so obviously I could never get him on the phone. Just a machine. Oh, God, he's done something stupid. Hey, I'm sure he's fine. You know, maybe his parents. No. I'll, I'll try him at the flat. Thanks anyway, Emma. Listen, you call me as soon as you find him. He'll be so pleased to see you. I think I'm your double, or perhaps I'm your twin. What? You ever dream you had a twin? Duality. Twinship. They're at the root of pretty much everything. Don't you think? From DNA, you know, the double helix, right through the concept of reflection, to the story of Jekyll and Hyde. That may be so, but this, it's just a... Uh... Funny superstition, surely. Not so funny if it happens to you. But how could it? I mean, you see your double, and then you die within, within a what? A moon month, according to some authorities. And who is an authority on something like this? Well, the poet Shelley, 
met his double on the veranda. It spoke to him. How much longer do you mean to be content? It said. Interesting phrase. Four weeks later, Shelley was dead. That was in Italy. And a, a moon month, he said. Four weeks. Four weeks. When did this exhibition open? It's all been a bit much, really, what with flying home and Peter losing his job and now you. But I don't believe in superstitions anymore. I'm going to put away these childish things. St. Paul to the Corinthians, right? I'm so glad we got together. We've got ever such a lot in common, you and me. Even the nightmares. Baby crying. I can't believe that you hear it, too. And the baby looks just like you, right? Incredible, isn't it? Peter wants seen him. How come? The piggies. What? The photographs of you and me. I just had to have one. I've got one in here, I think. It means ever such a lot to me. Anyway, he wants you to meet him at 12 noon at your most special place, wherever that is. In the forest? I don't know. She'll know what I mean, he said. Very romantic. He's missed you, poor boy. Lisa's such a good person. Hasn't got an ounce of bad in her. You and Peter, you're made for the heights. The top of the tree. There. You feeling better? Yes, thank you. You've been very kind. I'll give you a call. Take care. No two unrelated people can look completely alike. If there were two such, one of them must have come from the spirit world. That is the doppelganger, sent to give warning of approaching death. Huh. Any number of ways. But why do you ask? You have a particular person in mind. Yes? Peter at the tree. Zoe, you must tell me. I'm checking out now. I'm just about done what I came to do. What did you come to do? Bye, Peter. It was fun. Zoe? <laughs> I c You're very faint. Peter at the tree. No. No. No, no, no. no. since we last saw you, Andrea. April 1st. It's May Day today. How time flies. I'm sorry that nothing took place over there. Oh, such a shame. It would have been so interesting. No, he's all right. But maybe this way we will have success at last. If you don't mind, Annabelle. Oh, I've used the glass a few times before now. It can tell you a lot, the glass. Peter, hello, it's me! Oh, come on! 
danger. in danger. What do we have? Chiquitina. Oh, Santa Cielo, Marco. He has spoken at last. Chiquitina, that was his name for her. For whom? Our little daughter, Lisa. Lisa. Lisa? Lisa. Uh, Lisa. No. Damn you, you bitch. You bloody bitch. You devil. It was her I loved. And you killed her. Lisa! Lisa! 